So up here, on top of the sneak rack, I have propped one, two, three, four, five, six, and it would have been seven, but I will tell you that in just a second, the reason why it's not seven. Um, this is six molts from my tarantulas. That was in two week time where two week time period this week, which is really cool. So um, I'm actually going to do a slash feeding video sort of ish, but I'm going to show you first. And you may or may not have seen the name on there. Uh, let's see if we can get some light here. Gorgeous baby right here. I'm a Grecky Helmet Smithy. Obviously does not have, I mean you can see where she's going to have her adult colors. But uh, yeah. We're going to feed her real quick. So let me grab a cricket and we'll be right back. I need more than like one hand or two hands or any like four hands. Anyway, uh, this is my Venezuelan Sun Tiger and she, I, okay you can see that blue that blue green right there on her toes, her feet, her pads of feet, toes, feet, legs. Let's see if we can, she's going to go back down in there. Yeah, okay, so what we're going to attempt to do here, that's really bad backlighting is what that is. I'm not really sure how this is going to work. Uh... Sorry for the bad camera work. Let's, let's see what we can find here. Last time, oh, what was the camera again? Last time she. <laughs> That's not all the way in there. Oh, there we go. It's better lighting, isn't it? I'm expecting her to come up and grab that. Not my finger though, because that would not be fun. There we go. Kind of weird backlighting there. Let's see if we can get some better up top. There we go. Yeah, she's got the cricket down there. Ooh, you can see. Come on, camera. We're not going to want to focus on that. It's so tiny. Yeah, you can see her fangs. Ooh, that's so cool. Sweet. Very awesome. Okay, let's show you the next baby. This may be like the easiest way to see this one because if I open... The enclosure, she'll go right back down her little tunnel, and then she'll be just a black back lit little spiderling. Uh, this is my cedarling, uh, the rear fanged. Yeah, she molted like once, and I missed it. And then she, I think she molted the beginning of this month. She might not even be in May molt, but she molted so close to these others, and I'm pretty sure she is. Uh, lighting sucks here. Anyway, hold on, see if we can see her inside. I kind of backed her up a little, but there she is. Looking really cool. Uh, let's see if we can get her some food. She's usually a pretty good, um... Y'all watch her there while I grab some crazy morsel. Whoa, I think you lost the view there. Get a morsel. I don't know if she'll go for that because it's just. Oh, yeah, there we go. That was nice. Sweet. Yep. A little 
Little cutie. I can't wait until, until she gets her horn because there was a name picked out. Mm, but I can't remember the name. I don't even remember how to pronounce the name. My friend picked out the name. I'm going to have to look it up again or ask him if he remembers. Um, but yeah. So anyway. Little cute baby. Ah! What the crap is happening to my focus? Anyway. <laughs> let's go on to the next little baby. Here is, I think... A lot of people consider this trench to be a favorite. Look how gorgeous she looks. This is my curly hair that we named Digit. Yeah, I, I didn't realize that they were like black, gold, brown, gray. I mean, I just, now I'm starting to wonder if this is my curly hair, you know? But she's got the curlyish hairs, doesn't she? Anyway, this should be Digit. And, but yeah, she molted. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and feed her. Get a wider view there. Set this down here. Reach. Yeah. Scare her. Um, not intentional. There we go. Oh, well that was really fast. Yeah, she's a pretty good hitter. As far as prey goes, back in her lair back there. We'll let her eat. Let her do her thing. Yeah. That's a little digit for you. Oh wait, are we going to do a little web dance here? Eh, we'll leave you alone. Here is uh, one of the OBTs. I'm not actually going to open their houses um, because wasn't this one. This is the last one that molted. This one molted first, wherever she is. Is she over here? I think I see her. Maybe not. Where is she? Hold on. Anyway, thing two, which is this one, if I can find her to show you. Uh, actually, she's made herself a little lair there, and she's in there. This is the one that escaped, and... If you didn't read the journal, what happened was, it was, I had her in an extra container, but she climbed up the side really fast anyway, went across the floor, right out my door. It wasn't a long trek to my door. And then right to the right is the hutch. She crawled under the hutch, went up the wall behind the hutch. Thankfully, I was able to retrieve her, which much wor with, with much worry. Anyway, thing one is the one that molted last, so maybe this one's my female. She's growing a little slower. I mean, they're supposed to be siblings, I think. I mean, I got them at the same spot. Um, but, you know, if this one's a girl, I'm probably going to see if, you know, if hopefully, hopefully George will still be around. He is such a small male. I've heard other people say that of their males, and I've seen bigger males. Other people have bigger male, um, orange baboon tarantulas. Um, so, uh, I think he's just weird. Some males end up small. And maybe it's the rate of food fed because he I did like feed him a lot because he was like my first baby and I fed him a lot of food. Yeah. So that's the OBTs. And you can't see thing two, but you can see thing one. Um, that's them. They both molted not too far from each other. They tend to do that. So hopefully one of these is a girl. And we can have some baby OBTs. Woohoo! Now I want to show you the other tarantulas and not make you dizzy by doing this, but I'm still doing it. But anyway, I'm going to show you the other tarantulas, and it's just going to be like a, a quick shot, if I can get them, of each tarantula. Oh. And scorpions, by the way. Yeah, we have scorpions, too. No molds from them. Here's George, speaking of OBTs. Um, yeah, I, I made him a little bit unhappy here. Anyway, he's still a handsome little boy, and he is a little boy. Um, but yeah, hopefully... One of these babies matures out into a female and we can get him bred. George. How you doing, George? Awesome. Yeah, pretty sure that's female. Huh. This is Pistol by Pocolothary Regalis, the Indian ornamental. Uh, she's doing awesome. Let's see if we can uh, get some feeding going on here. Shaky camera work coming your way. Ooh, don't want to scare her out of there. 
saved it for a... Anyway. Okay. Yeah, usually she takes it from the tongs. That's good. We love that right there. I love it when they eat from the tongs like that. It's so awesome. I really just want to get another um, pokey species for that reason. To see more eat from tongs. Because definitely this one's... Well, a more arboreal species maybe do that. I had my Avic do that. And my Vicky Metallica do that. And I also had a... You know, you just saw... Well, my sun tiger has done it. You didn't see her do it this time, but yeah. There you have it. Awesome. Oh, it's blinking. Almost makes it like a horror movie effect. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is the supposed Theraposo apothesis. Ah! Light work! Um, we may have an emergency situation here. Uh, that'll have to work for now. Uh, let's see if she'll eat. She hasn't really been eating. At least not to my extreme knowledge. Let's put that there in a weird view. Um, we'll see if she eats. Like I said, she hasn't really been eating. I'm kind of expecting her to molt with how bulk. Oh, wait, maybe she does want to eat. Uh. <laughs> you gonna eat, Russ? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, there we go. Okay. Well, apparently she doesn't want to molt yet, or she may molt anyway, even though she's eating. But there, you saw her grab a food there. Awesome. Put a cricket in here, but this one usually doesn't eat on camera. This is the LP, the Laziadora Parahibana baby. Um, here comes the cricket, so we'll see if she'll eat for us. Oh, the cricket's going away, trying to hide. Oh, here comes the cricket this way. Maybe it stopped. Oh, hey, there we go. She ate for us. Very sweet. Let's take a quick look at some frogs here because we have already done a video. Uh, here's Frida. Pretty sure it's Frida. I think this is Dottie over here. Then this is James over here. And the last one. He doesn't look so good. Uh, let's see, there's Chip down there. Now, Chip wasn't eating for a few days, so I put him in his own little container, smaller container with crickets so he could get to him easily. Uh, he has been three days, he only ate one cricket, and I had three crickets in there for him. Unfortunately, he's not eating. It may be close to his time, and maybe he's just getting older or something. You know, these are adult frogs. I have no idea of their age. So, um, poor little Chip down here. He's just not eating. Um, but yeah. But either way, the rest of the frogs are, are, are good. Yeah. There's Frida. Sweet. I don't usually handle Danny. Like, never except in between cleaning times. I just wanted to show you Danny in my hand. Yeah. There's Danny Frog for ya. Uh, same size-ish. Maybe a little slower growing now that she's had her growth spurt. I'm pretty sure this isn't a boy, but I could be wrong. I mean, I haven't heard him croak yet. So anyway, there's Danny for ya. Doing awesome. We have a visitor cat, so yeah, he's in the background. Yeah, the cat's doing awesome. Anyway, this is a quick run through of the baby garter snakes. Here's Demigod to be going to his new snake mama this year, hopefully by mid-June, um, if all works out well. Um, he's been a little nippy. He just has been trying to bite me like several times now. Finally got him to calm down. I don't know what his deal is. He's just going nuts. I think it's the weather. Yeah, nice and humid weather, I guess, makes babies bite. I don't know, but that's Demigod for you. 
Here's Nolan, the bold striped runty baby. He's still smaller than all the others. He's also going to a new home this year, not exactly for sure when. Um, the little injury he had on the side of his neck all healed up. But I think I uh, touched on that in the gutter snake video, so yeah. There you have Nolan. Prometheus here is the third boy who is mine to keep. And he literally just now shed. Like, I just cleaned them out earlier. The little tubs. And you can't really see his red in this light. This light kind of mutes out the tannish red of his. But, yeah, that's really awesome. So he just shed. And he's real cute. They're all cute. And here's my little girl, Faye. And in case all of you are wondering, these four little babies are all Wajet's babies. That Wajet was pregnant, I did not know it when I got her. And they are all... I don't know, I guess what they, I guess there's a term they use for F1 captive born babies. But anyway, Faye's kind of like her mama. She doesn't really have a very bold dorsal stripe. Um, yeah, she's a, she's kind of getting chubby. The girls are supposed to be chubbier. But there's Faye for you. I love her. She's a sweet girl. Alright. And that's it for all the snakes. Alrighty, since I did, uh, the turtle was at the beginning of the video, I figured why not end the video with solar panel here. Um, and the setup I said I was going to do, I ended up doing it as I was making all these videos. She's got just a little bowl of sand here. It's play sand, um, and I learned a lesson when I was doing this because Whenever I put the sand in there, it just made the water cloudy. So I put the sand in this bowl afterwards. It was still in the bowl. I just put it in there with the bowl, and then it was fine. I think I'll probably have to just filter out the sand of the dusty part before I do this next time when I redo it. Um, but yeah, I, it took her uh, a whole night and half the day to get used to this. I had It was up on a little brick, but I took it off the brick so it's lower to the water. And she has this little area where she can go underneath here. And she's been on top of this rock. So as you can see, she's partially under the sand over there. Or he. But this is solar panel. The spiny soft shell turtle. Enjoying the sand. And she's very happy to have that, I think. These rocks, um, these rocks are actually from the river she came from. So yeah, there you have it. Very nice.